Amazing. Utterly amazing. All told, the Bee Gees have sold over 110 million records. And by the way, who was that song written for, by the way? Uh, well, it was written for Otis Redding in the first place. Uh, we met him about three months before his fatal accident, and uh, he was going to cut it. And he didn't get to cut it, and we thought, well, you know, we'll cut it. So that's how it happened. Let me say thank you very much for cutting that song. The requests are pouring in via telephone and email, so let's see what's happening in, in uh, cyberspace. Lois from Buchanan, Michigan. Love your singing and songwriting more than any other group in my lifetime, and that's a long time. I'm 71. There you go. Here's another one from Sarah, Houston, Texas. My son came into the world listening to Still Waters in the Delivery Room. And thank you very much. That's a, aww. Oh. Here's another one from Laura, St. Petersburg, Florida. When times get stressful, I play your music and all seems well again. Thank you for the beauty of your songs. I love to hear, I started a joke. Tonight, we're presenting the most successful trio in the history of popular music. We're bringing the Bee Gees to you live on A&E all over North and South America with a stereo simulcast on radio and a live webcast on the Internet. I am a huge fan of the Bee Gees. Trust me, we're in for an incredible two hours. I know you guys are fans as well, and all of you people is home at home, too. These guys are just magical, great songs, magical songs, magical vocals. But to make magic tonight on Live by Request, we need your help. So those of you at home, now is the time to get in on the action. Pick up your telephone, go to your computer, and start sending in your request to us. The toll-free phone number, doesn't cost you a dime, 1-866-BGS. And, <laughs> and in case you can't spell, that's 1-866-233-4337. Our email address is livebyrequest.com. Everybody here in the studio, don't get too comfy because you should also be thinking about what songs you want to hear because one of you lucky people is going to have a chance to request your favorite Bee Gees classic and get on stage with the Bee Gees, all right? Okay. Now, earlier this week, the Bee Gees released their tw 28th studio album. This is where I came in. It is already top five in Europe, which means the Bee Gees have had a smash album in five consecutive decades. Ladies and gentlemen, Morris. Robin and Barry, the Bee Gees. What fun this is. <laughs> All right. Oh, save your hands. You're going to have plenty of time to clap them tonight because there's some great songs coming. I want to ask you guys this. You've sold well over 100 million albums and you've had all the success anybody can imagine, you could be out playing golf. Why, why are you back? What makes you keep coming back to the hearth to keep making music? Playing golf. Playing. <laughs> no. <laughs> Actually, it's, uh, I think it's the passion, the love that we have for it. We've been doing it since we were kids, and today it's still the same. We love it just as much. I think the, great, the new album is great. How does the songwriting process work for the three of you? God. <laughs> well, any one of us can have an idea, and we bring it to the studio, and we share our thoughts and ideas. And if we find something we really love between us, then we start working on that and developing that. And after a time, or a couple of times, <laughs> um, a song is born. You know, it's really that. It, it, for us, it's, that, it's, it's all in our hearts and our minds, and that's just the way it is. Should I get off here and let you guys sing some? Well, Perhaps. <laughs> Maybe. I have a request. I like the new album so much. Would you do one more from the new album for me? And then we'll get to the phones and everything. This is from the latest one. The Bee Gees. 